hello, you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. So, this is my second attempt at this video. Um, I did a whole video, a whole, like, 15-minute video where I was just talking to myself and the camera wasn't even fucking on. Thank you, Christabel. <laughs> So, in this video, I just wanted to talk about getting clocked and how to avoid getting clocked. Look, for me, this has been such a sore point in my transition and such an area of insecurity. But I think in my transition, look, I started transitioning six years ago with very, very little resources. But I think in that time, I've definitely picked up tricks and noticed things. And one of the tricks that I've picked up is how to avoid getting clocked. Now, I'm going to speak in complete general, general terms because it's going to be different for each girl. But most of us, most of us go through that period where we get clocked, where somebody knows that you are one of the girls. Now, these are general rules it is not law. If it doesn't apply, let it slide. For God's sake, let it slide. But the number one rule that I, I, I've noticed that seems to apply to most of us T-girls is the reason we get clocked is because of the over-exaggeration of femininity. And what I mean by the over-exaggeration of femininity is when you are overly sexualized or overly feminized, in a situation that doesn't call for that. So in, in the beginning of my transition, I would wear like the shortest, shortest dresses. If I mean, if I just moved a little bit, you could see my underwear and my ass sticking out. I'd wear tight, tight tops to try and show any assemblage of cleavage. I would have my face caked the fuck up. Lipstick, false lashes, brows, hair down to my ass, all of that. Now, I've heard older transgender women or other trans girls say things like, oh, if you get your boobs done, they're going to clock you. If your boobs are too big, if they're too pushed out, if they're too nice, they're going to clock you. It's not the size of your boobs that clock you. Trust me. It, it's the, it, it really is just the over-exaggeration of femininity because I think a lot of us go into the world feeling like we have to sexualize ourselves because society already sexualizes us at such a high degree. So, you know, you'll go into the library, you know, and everybody has their hair tied in a bun. People don't have makeup on. People are wearing, you know, like Uggs and like jeans. And then me, Christabel, walks in, the transgender girl, wearing hot pants, boob tube, hair down to my knees, face kicked the fuck up, walking like this and all of that, people are going to stare at you. And look, someone's going to read me on this comment, but I'm just going to say it anyways. When you are starting off your transition or wherever you are in your transition, you don't want people to stare at you for too long. Because if people stare at you for too long, slowly they start to clock you. That's where the clocking comes in. And when you go into a situation and you're super, 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 super sexualized and super, super, super feminized and all of that, that in contrast with you, some of your male features is going to get you read as, fe as, as male. Those two things opposing each other are going to get you read as male. They are genetic females who have some male characteristics. Trust me, they are. So if you go over the top with your makeup and your hair and this, that, and the other, and, and how short your dress is, people by default are just going to look at you or stare at you for a long time, and then they're going to be like, okay, yeah, I, I see it, I see it. So this was always really, really hard for me because I think when I transitioned, I just really wanted to enjoy being a girl. I wanted to, you know, have fun. And especially after my hormones and my surgery, I, my body started changing. 
and I was more curvaceous and I just wanted to show that off. But I would go into situations like I would go to like a barbecue at like, you know, like eight where everybody's wearing jeans and they have their hair tied up and no makeup. And I would look like I was going to this high-end club. I would go into work wearing the shortest dresses. I would dress as though I was going to the nightclub. And sometimes I still do because at work I don't really care if I get clocked. You know what I mean? Everybody knows already. So, fuck that. And I'd always have a lot of makeup on. And those things made people stare at me. And, girl, they clocked a bitch. They really, 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 really clocked a bitch. So I think now, especially if you go into a lot of my videos, even in this video, my makeup is usually very, very understated. Very, very understated. I mean, of course, I recognize that to some degree I have some level of passing privilege. But guess what? I get clocked just like everybody else. And regardless of whatever amount of passing privilege I may have, if I'm going to go out into the world and have, you know, be caked the fuck up, be wearing these short, short, revealing dresses and this, that, and the other, people are going to read me as male. There are dresses in my wardrobe that I used to love that I don't wear anymore just because they got, they got me clocked. And I'm not about that life anymore. <laughs> I want to move into the world with as little drama as possible. So the second thing is, so the main, main, main thing is over-exaggeration of femininity. If you can find some sort of balance that works for you, where you're not too porn starred out, but at the same time, you, you don't look like, I don't fucking know, like, like nothing. Um, if you can get the perfect balance that works for you, get it, girl. I, I am here for that. The second thing that I notice um, really, really helps in terms of not getting clocked is weight. Now, I've always been super, super thin. Um, okay, I wouldn't call myself super thin now. A bitch gained some weight. Um, but I, I was always super, super thin. When you're super thin, especially in your face and your cheeks aren't as round and, and squishy and all of that, and you don't have, you know, like, I hate to say it, the cellulite and the curves and the dimples and that, but you're just super, super, super bone thin, like 12-year-old boy with no curve bone thin. It's going to clock you. I know we can't always control our, you know, our metabolism, this, that, and the other. But if you are a tea girl and you're gaining weight and you're nervous about how much weight you're get, gaining, I would say gaining weight within reason can be a very good thing for your transition because your face starts to fill out. And once your face starts to fill out, it's a good thing because remember, one thing that hormones do for us is they, it's fat redistribution. And I've seen it, I, like I've, I've watched this one show, it's called Little Britain, and it was um, a show that came out in the UK about 10, 12 years ago. And there was this fat guy who'd, who would um, basically play all these different characters, and he would also play female characters. But the crazy thing is, you couldn't read him as male. He looked female. There was this one character in particular called Marjorie, where they did his makeup and hair and all of that, and he looked like a regular schmegular bitch. You know what I mean? And I was just in awe of you know how awesome it was. Anyway, so that's the second thing. The third thing is, and I'm probably going to get into trouble for saying this, you don't have to listen to this third thing. You don't have to listen to anything I said, honestly. It's just my opinion. Who am I? But the third thing is, when one of us gets clocked, we all get clocked. 
I'm sorry to say it, but when you're with your friends and ugh, and there's somebody who is super, 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 super clocky, by default, you get clocked with them. Or if you're with, you know, like, your gender non-conforming friends or you're with your, your gay friends, you will get clocked in that context. When you're in a gay club, it's easier for you to get clocked because people know what to look out for, especially in those types of situations. I literally, I went out with my one friend, cisgender, genetic female. She's a tomboy, but genetic female, doesn't have any male characteristics. And we met up with a friend of mine who is um, gender non-conforming, non-binary. My friend is absolutely awesome. Love my gender non-conforming friend. And we went to this like bar slash club and we met up with um, my gender non-conforming friends gay friends. They, they were very, very effeminate gay friends. And, and then there were these three transgender girls who joined us and they were all visit. They were visibly transgender. They were clocky. So it's me and my friend, the genetic female. Now my friend, we're going to call her Lebu. I wanted to doll her up because we were going out. So I got her one of my wigs. It's like a 26 inch on me but on her it's a 30 inch because of her height. So it went right down to her butt. And you know, I put makeup on her and she wanted to wear this short dress and she has the curve, so I was like, get it girl. So she was looking super, super dolled up. I had a face looking like this, <laughs> little to no, very, very little makeup. And you know, I was just, I think I was wearing jeans actually. But I was just very, very chilled and, and low-key and understated. Guess who they clock? They clock Lebu. In fact, the three trans girls were basically bitching about her in their language, talking about, oh, she's doing too much. Why is she why is she going so over the top? They were clocking a genetic female because of over-exaggeration of femininity. So if you take nothing from this video, take this one thing. If you're going to, I don't know, a frat party, a pool party, a house party, you don't have to look like a supermodel. You really, 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 really don't. The nights out that I've not gotten clocked are nights when I had jeans on and I had flat shoes and, you know, I had makeup on, but very understated. Those were the nights I never got clocked. So, like, I wish you all the best in your journey. And we're going to get through this. We really are. And I know it seems hard. And I know, you know, there are all these idiots who just make you feel worse about yourself. But you're going to get through this. But those are just some of my tips. I hope they help. If anything, if not, I still wish you the best. Thank you for watching. Hope you have an awesome, awesome day.